Salutations Nikarikis, welcome back to another video and today we are doing the FNAF plush showcase and today we got a lot of submissions and I really am excited to see how these turn out. So without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, starting us off, we have this really cool looking purple guy. It looks pretty good, honestly. Like, I really like how they gave it, like, a more humanoid body style. It just suits the character more, especially for a purple guy. Uh, I made one before, and mine is more in the Funko style, but this one looks really, really cool. Um, I do really like it. The purple fabric is way better than the one I used, and also it's more game accurate than is really good and i very much like it i'm really excited to see it. hopefully purple guy does get actual merch in the future other than the 8-bit figure we've already gotten of him next up we have fred bear and i really like how this was made this was made from a yellow teddy bear i like that's a great great idea and his mouth can open um he, they sent pictures in the group chat just gives you more reason if you want to see it for yourself make sure you guys follow um sorry join the discord server link in the description below but anyways, this looks fantastic. I love the purple bow. The buttons were a great touch. The muzzle, it just, it looks adorable. And the purple hat at the top, it's just like a very cute teddy bear just with the FNAF features. It's very, very awesome. It's what I expect if FNAF was a real fate at an actual restaurant. Yeah. And it just, it looks really, really awesome. I definitely like to see more plushes in this type of style, not gonna lie, because it looks more traditional, if, if you get what I'm trying to say. Next up, we have this really awesome looking OC, I think. It might be an OC, it might not be, but like, this looks like an OC to me, and I, I have one too, so I could definitely appreciate it. I love the red bow, the big red bow, perfect. The black body looks really awesome. Um, if you know what the character's name is, um, J-Boy, since I know you posted this, make sure you uh, let me know in the comments. The brown feet looks really cool. I love all the green spots, the gray face, the, um, like, it look, kinda looks like a mouse. Not gonna lie, and I really like the nightmare teeth he gave it. It looks really, really awesome overall. And also, the, I'm this is like the first OC we've ever had on the Custom Plus Showcase. So if you guys have any that you guys wanna uh, want me to, uh, to go through, let me know and send them to me. I'll love to go through them. Eventually, I might even make a uh, plush for my OC. You never know. Next up is another Tangle. Ever since uh, we saw the first one, we've been seeing a lot of Tangle lately, honestly. I'm very happy because Tangle's a really cool character, and I'm very excited to see this plush because it's like more in the Mangle style, yet again. And this is what a Mangle plush should look like, in my opinion. I really, really like it, and Tangle looks great. It has all the features that she usually does. Purple bow tie, uh, the green muzzle in the ears. I love the eyes. The endo is adorable on the side and like the body just it suits it it looks really really good i'm very very impressed great job for who for the person who made this i very much like it next up we have my boy withered bonnie i love this plush it looks so good one it's adorable the gigantic teeth with the cute face perfect the body looks great the ears look great and missing the right arm it's very accurate and I very, very much like it. I'm so excited to see like official Wither Bonnie get, uh, be made in the future, because this just makes me so excited. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's one. Of, he's my second favorite character, so of course he deserves a lot of praise because they nailed everything I want to see in a Wither Bonnie plush. They nailed it. Great job. Next up, we have another Magician Mangle. This looks fantastic. They got the top hat with the red stripe around it. They got like the orange tone that uh, that the pink uh, uh, was replaced by. And it looks great. The yet again mangle body on how it should be. They got the hand. They got the extra head. They got the blue eye that like the blue blank eye that she has. The regular eye. It just, and also they even have the magic wand. It looks so so good so good i love it i love this plush so much and it makes me really want an official one in the future all right next up we have a pretty big lot we uh already went through this one time Freddy, so i'm not gonna like go through it since we already have so we have a nightmare balloon boy a mini arena and an electro bab 
three really unique characters that I haven't seen often in plush form. I'm very happy to see that they've been given a plush though because these look incredible. They make me want to have one in real life. The Electro Bab looks so cute. Really, really, really cute. Nice small gray and the yellow eyes. Nailed it. It's just a very nice chibi plushie and I'm like really awesome. And it's very doable, honestly. So Funko, step up your game, buddy. And Mini Arena, the skirt looks incredible. It is so cute, but the face is so terrifying, but that's just the Mini Arena's design. It looks super soft too. I like, it makes me want to give it a big hug. I don't know why. And lastly, Nightmare Balloon Boy. My God, that is a masterpiece right there. They got the really good shirt. They got the colors right. They got the purple red shirt, the buttons. The face looks really good. They got the mouth open with the teeth. They got the propeller at the top and they even got the shoes and they got the fingers. They nailed it. Looks way better than the Balloon Boy plush that we have. It's like, Balloon Boy had done right, and Nightmare Balloon Boy looks really cool, and I really want a Nightmare Balloon Boy plus now. This looks so, so good. Next up, we have another lot of three. We have Nightmare, which looks incredible. Another Nightmare plush to add to the ones that we've seen. I love it. It looks so cute. It looks so cute. Um, I love the uh, they gave the teeth on the belly, the yellow bow tie, the like the big white eyes just with like the little red in the, at the end. It looks so cute like that. It's adorable. The yellow hat with the black stripe, really nice attention to detail. It looks really awesome overall and I'm very, very, very impressed on how it came out. Next up we have a Nightmare On. Nightmare On looks really, really awesome. Um, it makes me like, I'm, I think Nightmare On might be one of the more popular plushes made, not gonna lie, but it's still nonetheless very awesome to see because I think this might be the first one in the showcase series that we've had. And it looks really good. The, um, I got the extra button, the teeth, the, it doesn't even have the, like, doesn't have black cheeks, it's just blank, blank cheeks, so that's a good attention to detail. The teeth look terrifying, and the eyes are also terrifying. Got the lip, the black lip, and the crying black tears. It looks so good. And last and definitely not least, probably my favorite out of these three, Dreadbear. I'm so happy to see more Dreadbear plushies. This looks so good. The big black bow tie. I love big bow ties on my FNAF plushies. Love them. And this one is amazing. A nice green felt, well, sorry, fabric uh, to it. The face looks so good. The eyes are really well done. The green, like, complements each uh, It's so well. Like, and it even got the nice cute nose, and it got the hat at the top. And I'm very, 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 very jealous because I really want a uh, Dreadbear for myself. But yeah, great job. Next up, we got my favorite character. We got Freddy Frostbear. Oh my god, this looks incredible. This is the same person who made that with her Bonnie a few episodes back. Like, I am so blown away by this. This looks incredible. The hat looks so good. The bow tie looks perfect. The icicles. And even has this like really cool um, thread wrapped around it to make it look like it's like ice shards as the animatronic suit. It, the blue nose, which looks adorable. The eyes, it looks spot on. I love that bits and pieces. It looks so, so good. I am blown away. And it just makes me super excited for me when I make my own and when I buy multiple of the official one. I'm just really excited. Great, great job. All right, last and definitely not least, we have Withered Freddy. Um, I had to ask for permission to use this plush, so shout out to Shadow Bond Productions for letting me use this. Thank you very much. And yeah, but continuing this. Um, Wither Freddy looks really good. It has um, like a really nice, um, like uh, the body looks really nice. The withering is not too much and it looks really good. Very nice and simple. Love how they fixed the eyes, made the eye like one eye regular and the other one like, like the black with the white pupil. Looks really good. And I like how they made him like look a little more depressed since Freddy's probably, Wither Freddy's probably pretty fucking depressed, not gonna lie. It looks really cute. I, it's, it's customizing the official Freddy. And it looks really good overall. I'm very impressed. Good job. And that's all the plushes we have today. Thank you guys so much for like submitting. If you guys want to see your own plushes, whether it be OC or just FNAF characters you made, 
follow the sorry uh, go to the link in the description to see the discord server so you guys can be able to submit it yourself also just the way you can chat with a lot of other fnaf fans and yeah so thank you guys so much but before we end this video all credit goes to these people the talented people who made these plushes get the credit not me so say good job to them in the comments not me anyways with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching i have a blast doing this series it's so fun i always enjoy it and yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys comment like and subscribe all that good stuff and please consider joining the Nickrick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you in the next video. Roll the credits!